His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the special representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahia Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Palace, the heads of diplomatic missions accredited to the kingdom, who conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of the leaders of their countries and their congratulations and wishes on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty the King many happy returns and abundant health and happiness, and Bahrain and his people further progress and prosperity. They expressed their thanks and appreciation and pride in His Majesty's leading role and efforts in consolidating Bahrain's relations with their countries and advancing them towards broader horizons of cooperation and joint work to achieve common benefits. His Majesty the King welcomed the ambassadors of the brotherly and friendly countries and exchange congratulations and blessings with them on the occasion praising the distinguished historical relations that unites Bahrain and their countries. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts that the ambassadors continue to make to develop and advance paths of cooperation and joint coordination between Bahrain and their countries in light of their mutual keenness to achieve common goals and aspirations. His Majesty the King affirmed that the kingdom is keen to build good relations and strong partnerships with various countries of the world based on mutual respect, cooperation and common interests for the benefit of all. His Majesty also praised Bahrain's leading role, which has distinguished it throughout the ages in consolidating the concepts of coexistence, tolerance, peace, and moderation, extending bridges of communication and promoting dialogue and civilizational rapprochement between followers of religions and various cultures for the progress of humanity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Al Sakhir Palace, the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the President of the National Intelligence Agency, Lieutenant General Adil bin Khalifa Al Fadl, and senior officers from the BDF, the National Guard, the Ministry of Interior, and the National Intelligence Agency. At the beginning of the meeting, the attendees congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty, wishing many happy returns and abundant health and happiness, and the people of Bahrain with security, safety, stability, development, and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty. His Majesty exchanged with them congratulations on the occasion, wishing them many happy returns. His Majesty the King expressed pride in all the members of the BDF, the National Guard, the Ministry of Interior, and the National Intelligence and Strategic Security Agencies, and thanked them for their efforts in protecting the nation's unity and enforcing the law and protecting its gains and achievements. His Majesty commended uh, the cooperation, solidarity, coordination, and joint work between the BDF and the security services, stressing that Bahrain will remain safe, the spirit of one united family. His Majesty also expressed pride in the cohesion of the people of Bahrain, which stems from their awareness that the responsibility is shared in achieving the development and security of the nation. His Majesty the King asked the attendees to convey his congratulations on the blessed month, the brave men in their various uh, work sites inside and outside the country, praying to Allah the Almighty to grant mercy and forgiveness to the nation's fallen servicemen and to grant them a place in paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, General Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahia Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Al Sakhir Palace, Bahrain's new ambassadors to a number of brotherly and friendly countries. Bahrain's ambassador to France, Ambassador Isam Abdelaziz Al Jassim. Bahrain's ambassador to Italy, Usama Abdullah Al Absi. Bahrain's ambassador to Malaysia, Dr. Walid Khalifa Al Mana. Bahrain's ambassador to Jordan, Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Bahrain's ambassador to Algeria, Ali Jassim Ahmed Al Aradi. Bahrain's ambassador to Tunisia, Abdelaziz Mohamed Al Eid. Bahrain's ambassador to Turkey, Bassam Ahmed Marzouk. Bahrain's ambassador to Korea, Saud Al-Hassan Al-Nisf. And Bahrain's ambassador to Iraq, 
Khalid Ahmed Al Mansour. The ambassadors took the legal oath before His Majesty the King on the occasion of the issuance of the royal decree appointing them as ambassadors extraordinary and plenipotentiary. His Majesty the King congratulated the ambassadors on the occasion of their appointment to their positions, wishing them success in performing their new diplomatic duties and bearing this national responsibility to serve the nation and its citizens. His Majesty asked them to convey his greetings to the heads of state of the countries to which they are accredited and his sincere wishes to their brotherly and friendly people of continued development and prosperity. His Majesty also directed them to continue efforts to consolidate Bahrain's close relations, build on the close ties with these countries, expand the base of its interests with them and embody the kingdom's principles calling for cooperation, peace, tolerance and human coexistence, as well as work for the affairs and interests of Bahraini citizens in those countries and meet their needs. His Majesty praised the important role played by all Bahraini ambassadors in supporting areas of coordination and joint work with various countries and opening new horizons for further and constructive cooperation. He stressed that the kingdom is keen to consolidate the base of his interests with various countries in a manner that achieves mutual interests. For their part, the ambassador extended their congratulations and blessings to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty the King and the people of Bahrain many happy returns. They expressed thanks and gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty and affirmed pride in the royal trust to present or to represent the nation abroad, stressing that His Majesty's directors constitute an incentive to exert further efforts to strengthen the bonds of cooperation and close ties with these countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa issued Decree 20 of the year 2024, adding Article 2 to Decree 98 of the year 2007 on establishing the Electricity and Water Authority based on a proposal by the Prime Minister following the approval of the Cabinet. The article stipulates that the authority may establish companies wholly or partially owned by the state and contribute and own stakes or shares in existing companies in accordance with the Commercial Companies Law, promulgated by Decree Law 21 of the year 2001 to practice some activities related to electricity, water or others. A decision shall be issued by the cabinet to designate the minister or the representative of the government in the procedures necessary to establish these companies or own shares in them. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed al shared the Council's weekly session where it approved a decree law on registration, safety and monitoring rules for small ships. The Council then approved the following. A proposal for the competent authorities to take the necessary measures to alleviate traffic congestion. A proposal on the government directs uh, the Central Bank of Bahrain to study the uh, postponement of the entitlement of non-commercial loans to citizens for a period of two months without interest on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. A proposal on the cancellation of the decision of the Sunni Waqf Directorate related to fees and a proposal on providing job opportunities to replace all citizens whose work contracts have been completed. In implementation of the directives of the cabinet and coinciding with the holy month of Ramadan, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce increases field visits to enhance monitoring in markets and commercial stores and review the conditions of markets and sales outlets in terms of the availability of products, goods and services and the required amounts, which comes as part of the Ministry's comprehensive inspection campaign of various stores and food outlets in all governments. The Ministry had prepared and an integrated work plan prior to the holy month to implement inspection tours and ensure the availability of basic food supplies and the alternatives, uh, their validity and uh, the availability of promotional offers, detect commercial fraud and take legal measures against violations. A number of uh, livestock traders in Bahrain revealed the availability of meat in preparation to meet the needs of consumers during the holy month of Ramadan. More in this report. Livestock sales activity in the Kingdom of Bahrain revived on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, while livestock traders prepared to provide various meats through their displays, which were imported from several countries to cover the needs of consumers. Livestock traders confirmed the availability of meat in abundant quantities, in addition to red meat and white meat throughout the holy month. The kingdom has also facilitated the work for livestock traders and granted import permits in accordance with the Unified Veterinary Quarantine Law, with full compliance with all procedures. The Kingdom of Bahrain has doubled important shipments in order to cover the needs of the market during the holy month, in addition to mobilizing all its preparations according to requirements and at competitive prices from various sources, which indicates responsibility towards consumers. <laughs> 